for your chance at winning one of my finished models, head over to my Patreon page, I have a link in the description, and enter the monthly giveaway. So as I'm going for a sort of resto mod Boyd Coddington chip foo style, I needed to fit a lot bigger size of wheels and tires. But in order to do that, I needed to remove a lot of material as standard they don't fit. So in the front I needed to remove some and in the rear I re needed to remove some as well. So I just started at the rear with a saw blade, doing the rough work and then just pulling it out with some pliers. So that's pretty much it for the rear. All the wheels fit now perfectly well inside of the wheel well and have the correct offset. So I just cleaned it up with a sanding stick and then moved on to the front. For the front, I did want to keep the main part of the wheel well intact. So I just had to use my Dremel or Proxon rotary tool to just remove and hone out most of the inside of it that will be covered with the wheel and tire anyways. So nothing will be seen, but the point is they fit as well. So now that all of the modifications are out of the way, I moved on to prepping and priming some of the parts. The insides of the wheels were just primed and all the other parts for the chassis are primed as well. And then I applied a couple of different colors on the parts. The kit itself does not come with any disc brake detail whatsoever, so I added some myself. I took out a disc and caliper set from Scale Production, and I painted the calipers in some yellow to make it look fancy and nice in comparison to the rest of the red body. To give the wheels a bit of a modern look with those big brake calipers and brake discs, I painted the centers of these wheels in a gun metal. And the main all-in-one molded chassis part was just painted in some black, nothing fancy there. So I needed to add some detail for the rear differential and also some of the transmission stuff and the engine block itself. I firstly just painted it in some silver just to highlight it and make it a lot better than everything in black. So as mentioned during the painting process, I added the missing detail for the brakes and I filled it up with a brake and caliper set from Scale Production. Now these were all just glued together with some Bob Smith Industries Super Gold Plus. This is a good glue for the photo edge parts. It's not super strong, but is plenty strong enough and it doesn't leave a white hazing and it just glues the parts together as you desire.
So after finishing all these tiny details off, I pretty much started assembling the body and doing all that stuff and totally forgot to detail out the rest of the chassis. So after everything was finished and done, I took out the chassis again and added some detail. I firstly painted the engine with some Vallejo Orange. It covered terribly, so it took about five or six coats in total. But after all, it wasn't really about the total coverage, just a general color of orange. I just dirtied it up a bit with some Tamiya Panoline accent color to make it a bit oily and stainy, as most of these older cars are. I know the body and interior are pretty much a concourse restoration resto mod, but I figured as it is a driver, the chassis should look a bit dirty. So everything got a bit of Panoline accent color to highlight and low light some areas and also, again, to give it a bit of that dirty look. After that was all done, I moved on to dry brushing, adding a bit of scratching and weathering all over the chassis just to give it a bit more livelihood. Firstly, I just applied some silver and later on I applied some dark metallic black to darken it up a bit and tone it down as well. 